Hello and welcome to MVP Hot Seat with Ibrahim Ababu. We are pleased to welcome Mr. Justice Wabuyabu, who is the acting CEO of Kenya's Nuclear Power and Energy Agency, NUPEA. Mr. Wabuyabu joined NUPEA in 2019 as Director of Legal and Regulatory Services and, Corpor uh, and Corporation Secretary. He previously served as General Manager, Legal and Corporate Services at National Water and Harvesting Authority. He also served as a lecturer at Kenya School of Law and Mountain Kenya University. Welcome, Justice, and once again, congratulations. I'm sure Nopia will thrive under your leadership. Thank you very much, uh, Ibrahim, for those kind words, and thank you for having me for this session. Thanks to you. My first yeah. question is, as acting CEO of Nopia, what are your short-term and long-term priorities? Thank you, Ibrahim. Um, I think for me, the 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 immediate priority is to really uh, work around the issue of stakeholder engagement. As uh, you may be aware, uh, Kenya is uh, actually in the second phase of uh, uh, the milestone approach uh, for setting up a nuclear power program. Uh, we started this uh, initiative way back in 2010 uh, when the government of Kenya made the position to incorporate nuclear in the energy mix. And uh, since that time, the country has uh, undertaken a number of uh, initiatives, including uh, uh, doing a feasibility study and uh, doing a strategic plan for the nuclear power program, which was a 15-year uh, program to that will actually uh, guide the country in that process of, uh, of, of starting the nuclear power program. And uh, we now have a, a national regulator, uh, which was uh, attained through the Nuclear Regulatory Act, setting up the, the national regulator. And uh, we we have also uh, done the strategic and environmental social assessment uh, exercise for the nuclear power plant. Uh, and and, and uh, in 2018, we... We had the IEA come to do the Integrated Nuclear Infrastructure Review Mission, uh, which was uh, followed up in 2021. And uh, generally speaking, the IEA experts are confident and uh, have a, 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 are happy with the with the with the development that uh, Kenya has undertaken, and 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 therefore Kenya has really moved into the second phase, where it's really to do the preparatory work for for uh, the nuclear power program mm -hmm. uh, at which we'll be able to actually now uh, be able to invite bids for the nuclear power program so at this point um uh, as 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 the nephew of the country uh, what we we have actually come to see and which is 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 a, is a common feature for a majority of nuclear power countries and uh, uh, and even the 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 old countries with the advanced technology in nuclear is the idea of um uh public acceptance of course um uh, for kenya nuclear nuclear power is a a, a new concept uh, so to speak majority of the population don't understand uh, uh the, what nuclear is and and, and actually really imagine that whenever they hear about nuclear, the first thing that comes to their mind is the the the, the, the terrible things that uh, were witnessed at Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and therefore they are not they, they don't easily appreciate and embrace nuclear as 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 an idea, and therefore my my first priority is to really work around the the idea of uh, getting uh, the stakeholders to understand the the peaceful uses of nuclear uh, in the area of agriculture, in the area of uh, uh, health, in the in the area of uh, water desalination, and uh, and also in 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 in, in the area of electric electric electricity generation. So I I will I will be putting more attention to stakeholder engagement, and I'm glad to to say that uh, uh, upon my appointment, I've I've received a lot of. Uh, a lot of uh, positive support from uh, from from the, the 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 government through the Ministry of Energy, uh, uh, through our our 
our cabinet secretary, the Honorable Davis Churchill, together with the, our principal secretary, who, who uh, Mr. Alex Wachira. And, and therefore, I see that uh, we should be able to really get the Kenyan population to understand the peaceful uses of uh, nuclear technology and embrace it, so that when we actually will be going to the point of uh, doing the procurement, there will be uh, uh, majority acceptance of, of, of nuclear technology in the country. Thank you, Ibrahim. Indeed, indeed. And uh, that's a very crucial point that you mentioned, stakeholder engagement, because some, uh, some countries overlooked this, uh, this important aspect. And then after, it blocked the process of getting nuclear power, because uh, without the uh, the great knowledge of uh, uh, about nuclear, because the thing with nuclear that is great is uh, that it's you don't have to put a lot of market into it. So it just by yes. stating facts, people uh, mm -hmm. get to to be more positive about it. It's just uh, misconceptions that are at the moment uh, influencing the decision of some people. Exactly. So uh, my question, my sec uh, second question, you partially answer it. So it was about the what are the development of nuclear energy in Kenya, but uh, the but uh, the follow up into that is what are the next step for uh, for nuclear in uh, nuclear energy development in Kenya? What are the your next step? And also, what is your expected time for a run in uh, to have a run in nuclear power plant? Thank you, Ibrahim. Uh, according to our timetable, uh, Kenya was poised uh, to 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 commission its first nuclear power plant in the year twenty thirty six, and uh, that that program has has uh, we've actually been working according to that program. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, there have been uh, a number of developments, uh, both nationally and uh, 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 internationally, which which uh, make the the possibility of this this um, introduction of uh, uh, of, of of generating nuclear uh, uh, electricity through 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 nuclear in, in in the country being brought forward to the year twenty thirty two, and and one of them is actually uh, the, 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 the 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 national policy because with the issues of climate climate change. Um, our our president, um, the one, the, His Excellency, Honorable Dr. William Ruto, uh, has actually um, placed the issue of climate change as a priority for his government, and and therefore issues of climate change are are, are very high high up on the agenda of the government. And as you know, Ibrahim, the nuclear technology is 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 is, is, is 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 low on on carbon emission and uh, and as as a uh, small footprint, and therefore I believe that um, uh, nuclear technology will will support my government in addressing the issues of climate change, and and that that's why the the consideration to bring it forward. Uh, also, Ibrahim, you will you, you are aware about uh, the development of uh, SMRs, small modular reactors, which is a technology that. Um, uh, uh, beyond the fact that uh, it's it's it, the cost is like is, is, is much 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 lower compared to uh, the traditional nuclear power plant, um, uh, and also noting that uh, it, 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 the 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 it it can be uh, dispatched more easily than the traditional nuclear power plant. I think that that has made the possibility of having the nuclear power plant earlier. Yes. Yeah, we can, we hope to have this by by twenty thirty four. Mm -hmm. I think uh, uh, that's that's what I can say about uh, the the program for Kenya right now. Thank you, thank you. So the the new date is twenty thirty four. So you moved to twenty thirty four. Thirty four. Yes. Yeah. So you moved two years earlier than the expected. Yes. Oh, that's great. And. Uh, yes. Uh, you mentioned SMRs. Has uh, Kenya decided if it will pursue uh, large reactors or SMRs or both? And uh, uh, which one, if uh, if SMRs or large reactors, why? Uh, the the national position is that uh, we we are pursuing the nuclear power program, uh, but with the 
with the margins on and, and the popularity that uh, SMRs are actually gaining across the globe, mm -hmm. uh, the country is also considering that. The beauty is that um, uh, with the milestone approach, uh, if you're going uh, according to the, the traditional nuclear power plant, which we are doing, then we have actually covered the, the more important issues, such, such that uh, if we the country actually changes to sm small model reactors, then we lose no time because the requirements for uh, SMR and the the the, the, the traditional uh, nuclear power plant is, is is more or less the same. And in fact, I think this SMR's requirement will will be less stringent. Yes, indeed. Uh, thank yeah. you very much. And uh, I believe that Kenya has already started engaging with international community for your nuclear power program. How yeah. important is it to have international support? And more, do you? Uh, and what more do you think can be done, or would uh, like to uh, you would like to see from the international nuclear companies? Thank you very much, Ibrahim. Uh, I think as uh, Kenya being a member of the International Atomic Energy Agency. Uh, having uh, signed onto the statute of the IEA in uh, 1965, uh, Kenya recognizes the need to 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 partner with other countries, both multilaterally and uh, bilaterally, in, in in pursuing the nuclear power program. And this is very important, as you know, that um, uh, Kenya can will learn a lot from uh, uh, the uh, the the old players. And therefore, we have uh, had engagement with uh, uh, a number of uh, other international, uh, other 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 countries. Uh, if I may mention, for example, we have had uh, a lot of engagement with uh, South Korea. We've had an, a, a very important engagement with the with the United States of America. Uh, we have had uh, uh, support from France. Uh, we've had support from uh, from China and uh, technical uh, sub training and capacity building from from Russia and and many other 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 old players and 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 I believe that uh, a nuclear nuclear a nuclear power program which is uh, highly regulated by international uh, legal regime it is important that uh, Kenya should be able to work with other countries so that uh, uh, even following up with the with the international uh, agreements that have are there for example the convention on nuclear security the convention on early notification the event of a nuclear accident and the convention on uh, assistance in the event of a nuclear accident as well as uh, the joint con the joint convention I think those conventions uh, would will require that um, we have engagement and uh, partnership with other countries so that uh, our nuclear power program proceeds without any hitches. Exactly, exactly. And it's uh, very important to have a uh, collaboration with not just one partner, but multiple partners. And I believe also that Kenya is part of the IFNEC uh, and, yes. uh, and you had uh, played a, a great role in that also. Uh, my, yeah. my last question is, what are your thoughts on the multilateral approach for nuclear nuclear among uh, African countries? Do you think is it possible for African countries to come together, pool, uh, pool their resources, and have a shared nuclear power program? Thank you, Ibrahim. Uh, that is a very good thought. And uh, um, uh, when we had uh, the, 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 the the nuclear uh, platform business platform uh, meeting in Kampala early this year. That is an issue that actually was 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 uh, discussed, and uh, my position is that that will make a lot of sense because then uh, several African countries will be able to take advantage of economies of scale instead of every country having a, a nuclear power program and uh, and and competing and 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 and, and uh, uh, having issues of where where do we what do we do. We could actually come together, several African countries, and 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 work together a common uh, project, which will reduce the costs and uh, will guarantee a market and uh, uh, will actually benefit more 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 countries. So my position is that uh, uh, it's an option that we should explore, and uh, I believe that um, uh, our our leaders, our political leaders, 
uh, once uh, this this uh, gets advanced, it's something that uh, uh, our political leaders in this region uh, will actually have to consider. Uh, the beauty with uh, East Africa and uh, uh, part of South Africa is that our grid is connected and, and therefore that possibility of having a common uh, project makes a lot of sense. Exactly, exactly. And uh, we hope in the future we could see something uh, coming out uh, as a common effort in, uh, yeah. in Africa. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you once again, uh, Justice, for these great enlightenments about the nuclear situation in uh, Kenya. I'm sure Kenya can be a role model for countries in the region regarding developing nuclear power infrastructure. We are optimistic that, that under your leadership, Nupia will continue to be at the forefront of driving nuclear, uh, driving Kenya's nuclear power program. We look forward to witnessing the positive impact of nuclear energy on Kenya's progress and uh, I wish you all the best in this endeavor. For our viewers uh, on YouTube, feel free to leave your comments on the box below and stay tuned for the next episode of MVP Hot Seat. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Justice. Thank you.